All right, I think we're live. Good morning, everyone. Hope Savar here with a daily dose of hope. I was going to have my theme music play this morning, but my computer, even though it's brand new, is as slow as a turtle. So we're going to skip that. But uh, let me just pop back to the screen. Hold on a second. Okay. Today we are going to have a special guest. I'm super excited. She is one of my dear friends, probably one of the smartest people I know when it comes to the human body, nutrition, the science behind it, like, and the way that she talks actually makes sense to someone like me. So I'm super, super excited to have her on, but um, she's going to be coming on here in a little bit. So we'll wait for her and watch for her. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have this like raspy voice going on today and um, it's not coronavirus. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, but uh, just been trying to fight this cold and um, it's just kind of annoying and I'm ready for it to be over because my nose is stuffy when I sleep at night and it's kind of annoying. But anywho, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope Savar are here with the Daily Dose of Hope. Um, let me know where you are tuning in from. Drop it in the comment section. We always appreciate knowing where in the world are you today, coast to coast, city, state, where are you going? Where are you coming from? We like to know where our listeners are tuning in. So you can drop that in the comment section. And if you're watching the live, type the word live. How many of you are on here this morning? And if you're watching the replay, type the word replay. If it's been a while since we've seen each other, give me a hello. Let me know how you're doing. I hope that this raspy voice is not going to annoy the crap out of you today because I'm going to do my best not just to let it annoy me. Um, I thought that I would start out each of my segments moving forward with some fun in the news. And so I popped on to Facebook the other day. Hold on a second here because I got to be able to see your comments. So um, popped into my news feed and I have to share this with you because it's like, oh my goodness. So Russian power lifter champion. This dude's big, like he's definitely meaty. Attempted at the World Raw Powerlifting Federation European Championships in some city I cannot pronounce near Moscow earlier this month. He was attempting, get this, he was attempting to lift 880 pounds. Like I'm just trying to wrap my head around how much 880 pounds is. And uh, I would so appreciate it if you can like drop it in the comment section. How, like what would 880 pounds even equate to? So I, I'm, I'm someone that needs like a visual analogy and I'm just trying to visualize what I know that is 880 pounds. But I think the more important question is, what would possess someone to want to lift 880 pounds? And it got me thinking, when we set goals in our life, at least for me, that goal bears some type of fruit. Like right now I'm running a uh, health completion challenge, health and wellness completion challenge with Julie Dillon at the St. Christopher's Fund. And the, the goal at the end is that you feel better. You have a better quality of health. You have more energy. You're sleeping better. You're more positive. You, you, your gut feels better. Like there's a cookie at the end. To set a goal to lift 880 pounds, I just wonder like what happens after that? 980 pounds? 1,280 pounds? And, and it really got me thinking, like, why do we do what we do? Why do we set the goals that we want? Why do we reach for certain things? Like, what is it? And this man, Siddiqui, again, I'm, I will butcher that name. I'm not sure, was able to walk the weight back. But as soon as he went to squat it, everything went round. I'm just reading this little article clip. Get this. He fractured both of his knees during the downward movement, okay, the going down, and also snapped both of his quads. He says the main thing he must do for the next two, two months, two months, 60 days, 
is lie motionless. Holy crud. He's had both of his quadriceps re-sorn together and both of his knees rebuilt. It just made me start thinking, what is the cost of doing something? There's a cost to everything. There's a cost to setting the goals that we set. There's also a cost to change. There's a cost to not doing things. And I mean, dude, I would be happy squatting 50 pounds. And obviously that's his profession, but why do you do what you do? Why, why are you setting the goals that you're setting? What is it that you want at the end once you get there? And at what point will it be enough? I'm a recovering addict. I never hide it. And so for me, that idea of setting goals is like, I need a healthy, a healthy reward at the end. I need something good to happen at the end to go towards. Otherwise it'll never be enough. It's like, oh, if this is a portion size and I cut that down normal, well, I'll just cut it a little smaller, a little smaller, a little smaller. And next thing you know, you're eating like the size of a pea of, of, of something for dinner and thinking like, oh, I should still do better. Like, so what are your healthy goals? What are your healthy expectations on what it is that you want? And what is the cost of trying to achieve that? And that just, that article just really struck me. And so our show, we're going to start out each day um, that we come on talking about that and uh, just sharing something in the news that is not trucker related. <laughs> because I'll be honest with you, I am sure every single one of you gets enough news about trucking that sometimes you just don't want to listen to news about trucking or things about trucking. And so hopefully there's a little dose of hope coming your way today that can inspire you to think about something that change. So I'm super excited. My dear friend, Karen Urbanic is gonna be on today. And today our main focus of conversation, our main topic of conversation is immunity, is building our immune system. And what you as drivers, travelers of the open road, can do to help build immunity. Um, and she is so awesome. So stay on because she is going to just drop so much information for you all to be able to see what it is that you can do easily and simply while out on the road. So we're really excited that we're going to be able to have her. I wanted to also, I wanted to also, before she comes on, I'm just kind of waiting for her here. Um, I also wanted to share with you all that I'm super excited, super, super excited to move into the fall because there are like so many awesome things happening this fall that are just kind of popping up everywhere. There's some online webinars, there's some trucking summits. I'm just like, woohoo, there's so many things now popping up digitally that drivers can do. Also, Mother Trucker Yoga is going to be putting on a five-day mindfulness challenge coming up here in September that we're super excited about. Now, don't get all worried here. It's not a woo-woo challenge. I'm not going to make you do crazy things, but we all can take a time out in our lives. We can all pause. We can all step back and take a breath to be able to move forward in whatever it is that we want to do. So we'll be giving you the details to that coming up really soon because Trucker Appreciation Week I just like calling it Truck Appreciation Month. I'm looking at my calendar. Is happening the second week in September. So that is, that's like three weeks away, three, two and a half weeks away um, where we get to celebrate drivers. I like to celebrate drivers every day, but uh, we are going to celebrate drivers in the best way that we can. And I am super excited. All right, let me see if we can get her on. It takes a second here. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let me just check here. Drop it in the comment section if you remember back to my show where we talked about goals and the next 90 days and setting goals. Um, I would be curious to know who has set goals for themselves now, maybe for the first time, and what those goals were? 
what those goals were and what it is that you're trying to achieve. I got this amazing fly here that just keeps flying around me here everywhere. And it's super annoying. Um, and what those goals were and what it is that you're hoping to do in order to better your life. And hopefully today, hopefully today's show will help you do just that, especially if you're thinking about what it is that you should be doing to improve your health and your diet and your wellness. Um, I want to share with you talking about goals. So we're running this Facebook challenge group driven to be healthy. And we're on day 17. There's, I think we have, we started out with about a hundred. Now we're down to 50 because it's a completion challenge. You have to keep filling out your survey every single week and you have to keep trying every single day. And honest to goodness, the amount of people, like I almost cried, the amount of drivers that are making positive changes in their lives is overwhelmingly awesome. Drivers that have never drank in water in, they can't remember the last time, to drinking water. Drivers that are, are losing weight and losing weight is not the focus. Feeling better, having more energy, um, challenging themselves to get their fruits and veggies in, to try to see those healthier options where before all they saw was nothing is available for me. And it's such an inspiration and a reminder to us all. I just get so jacked up and excited that you can make any positive change in your life when you decide that you want to when you decide that you're ready, when you decide that you want to, when it no longer is an obstacle for you, but rather it's a destination for you. And, and the cool thing about this is for those of you that don't know me, um, I am not a fad diet person. I am not a, you have to work out every day. I am not someone that's going to be like, Hey, you need this workout program and you have to do these things in order to see the results that you want. I have more of a realistic expectation on health and wellness and being healthy. And I believe in setting a foundation. And for some people that doesn't include weight loss for some people it does. Um, but if we, if we look at what we need to survive and what it is that we need to thrive, it's a lot of those just basic things that often many of us overlook. Are you getting your water every day? Are you trying to eat some fruits and veggies every single day? Like start small, just eat one. Are you trying to get a better quality sleep? That may mean like we're really challenging our participants to turn off their electronics 20 minutes before bed. You would think that would be so easy. It is really hard. It is really, really hard to do, but they're doing it and it's getting out, get this, it's getting out and doing just 15 minutes of movement. That's it. 15 minutes of movement every single day and committing to that. And the majority of them at this point are all moving so much more than they were before. It is absolutely phenomenal. Let me see if she... Where is she? Hold on a second. It's the beauty of technology, right? Okay. So that has just been very exciting. And let me know if you have been in the Facebook challenge group, Driven to be Healthy what your thoughts are on it, if you're loving it, if you're liking it, if you feel like you are, are getting something out of it, um, I would love to know, drop it in the chat and maybe a little bit of inspiration for other people that did not join our challenge, but are hoping to improve the quality of their life. We would love to know. Okay, so while we wait for Karen, let's talk a little bit about immunity. So for those of you that are traveling, for those of you that are traveling and you live for multiple days or weeks over the road, it can be challenging sometimes to ensure that we are building up our immunity. So one of the big things is really making sure that we are, oh, here we go. She's waiting. Hold on. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to figure out, this is where Zoom gets a little tricky. 
um, if she can come in. Let's see. All right, we are live. So, practice mode. We are not in practice mode. We are live on Facebook. Okay. Why is that not letting us do that? How annoying is that? Let me see. What we might have to do, y'all, is pop out and then come back on with Karen. So if you're watching, if you're watching, sit tight. We're gonna pop out and we're gonna pop back in. So here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, here we go, yay, okay. Scratch that. Let's get her on here. Okay, come on. So I'm telling you my computer is so chat, so slow. Okay, come on. There we go. All right, here she comes. Here she comes. Come on. Oh. Sorry guys. Sit tight with you, Mirafer. There we go. Oh my gosh. Goodness me. Here we go. Finally. Let's see if we can promote to a panelist. There we go. Here she's going to come right back in. Hey, hey. Hello. Oh my gosh. So uh, this is the fun part about Zoom. It just like takes forever to like get somebody in the room. Um, but hello, hello, Karen. Hello there. I was just on something with Karen yesterday, and now she's on here today with us, and I'm so excited because Karen is probably one of the smartest people that I know when it comes to health and wellness and the human body and how things work, and I think one of the most magical things about Karen is her ability to explain things and help them make sense to someone like me and someone like you that doesn't live, eat, breathe, and sleep all of this science and all of this information. And I thought today it would be appropriate that we talk about immunity. Now for many of my truck drivers, they're not going back to school, they're, they're kid, like they, they're most of them live over the road. But I'd love Karen to kick off this conversation. Can you just like kind of come out of the gate and explain like, what is immunity? What is the immune system and why do we have it? Because I don't know if everyone really understands the importance of this aspect of our body. You bet. Are you seeing me? I'm not seeing you. I am not seeing you. So let's see if we can get you. Okay. I hit start video and it says I can't start the video. So Which is fine. I can sit there and talk behind that pretty picture of me, but yeah, not that I much look at this morning. I just got done exercising. I'm heading over to paint my daughter's house in a few minutes. <laughs> but, you know. I yeah, I'll sometimes try it again. Sometimes I have with Julie too when she's on. It just says unable to start video. You can't start your video because the host has stopped it. Oh, that's weird. Okay, well, while you talk, I'm going to see if I'll I can talk. figure it out. Right. So the immune system, the, the best part of the thing is the immune system is not a system. It's not like the digestive system, which we can take out of your body, dissect and look at, or the circulatory system, right? Or the respiratory system or the reproductive system. Like the immune system isn't a system. It's all sorts of systems that are all together. And so when you talk about the immune system or building immunity, you need to look at, okay, how can I do that? I can build my immunity by, by literally, oopsie, I think I was on there for a second. You can build your immunity. Hello, everybody. You can build your immunity by building multiple systems, right? And so, so if we look at immunity, what the basic job of the immune system, the immune system, is to protect you against an invader, a pathogen. So we breathe them in all day long, right? So if you're breathing, you you have invaders, period. And so you're breathing in pathogens, whether it be a virus, a bacteria, whether it be a mold or a fungus, it can be um, chemicals, whatever it might be. Those things are invaders in the body. And then how awesome it is that we have this entire system throughout our cells and through our body that can recognize an, an invader and then get rid of it. <laughs> it can create an antibody to it, or it can, it can pull it into fat tissue so that when you eat your fiber, then it pulls your fat tissue out and it has the invaders in it, right? And so we can, we can consume heavy metals and get rid of them because we have a great digestive system. We're eating the appropriate foods to naturally get rid of heavy metals. We can consume all these chemicals that are in the air. And if you live anywhere near me, all you see is smoke because California is on fire. And so we can go outside and still breathe because I know I have this great immune system that's going to take any kind of chemicals that might be in the air 
wrap them up in, in tissue. And then when I eat my good fiber and all my good healthy meals, it'll just take it and escort it out of the body. And so that's the same way it treats viruses, bacteria, fungi, everything. So, but the, the main part of the immune system is it has to be able to recognize what's going on. The immune system has to be able to recognize when there's a pathogen. And so we hear about things like you know, leaky gut and fibromyalgia and blah, blah, chronic fatigue syndrome, all these things. Those are just signs that the immune system isn't working. Sure, they now have their own disease name and you can go get a pharmaceutical for it. But, um, but the basic gist is disease is in existence because our immune systems get weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. So now so, we have to get there. So and I have a question for you. So one, why do our immune systems get weaker? And two, why do some people get sick and other people never seem to get sick? And, and I think about that question because I know some people that they never get sick and I swear they are the most unhealthy person I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, so like, why does that happen? Excellent point. I'm trying to make my thing that fall over there. Okay. So two things, the immune system can be compromised in, in utero. So you can be in the body of your mommy and be getting a sucky immune system because the environment. If you think at the cell level, at the very cell level, every cell in the body is a vibrational frequency. That's what it is, right? Because every atom is simply vibration. So an atom has protons, neutrons, and electrons. And so those electrons will, will, will tell what the atom is. So if there's one electron, it's hydrogen, two electrons, helium, right? Helium, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, right? And so magnesium has 12 electrons. And so every, every, every metal, every building block of our body has an electrical frequency. Now you, you, you get a whole bunch of those to stick together and then you get a molecule and a compound and then you get a cell and then you get a human body or you get a cat or a dog or a plant or a rock, right? Depending on what's all linked together. Well, here's the cool part. That cell, and you have trillions of them in the body, has hundreds of thousands of receptor sites sticking out of it. And they're like tiny little hair-like follicles that let things come into the cell and they get rid of things in the cell. They let things get in the cell and they get rid of things in so the cell. So it's like a doorway. It is, exactly. And they have to be triggered. It's like if you pull a big boat up to a tiny dock, it's not going to fit. So you can't park your boat. But if you pull up a little speedboat and it can go right in there, whoa, it gets to dock, right? And then it gets to deliver all the goods and then scoot on out, right? And so that's basically how these little docks are on the cell receptor sites. I've never used that analogy. It's really good. I'll use it. But anyhow, <laughs> what happens is there's two ways to trigger that cell receptor site, a molecule or a frequency. And so a molecule, ooh, I'm going to... I'm going to eat an apple today and then all the constituents in the apple are going to break down with my digestive enzymes, you know, and boom, it's going to go into the bloodstream and they're going to get delivered to the cell. Remember those little cells are floating in liquid, right? So there's fluid in the cell and outside of the cell. That's your immune system, period. If this isn't healthy, healthy cell, healthy extracellular fluid, healthy intracellular fluid, then you're not healthy, right? Interstitial fluid, all of this needs to be very healthy. So, but the most important part is those little docking areas, uh, the cell receptor sites. So the apple can get broken down and then float along the cell and get sucked in. But the other way to trigger um, a, a, re a response at a cell level is with frequency. So those who live closer to any kind of radio towers, that's where the majority of your cancer people in your city are going to be. And, you were now, and now they're on top of the school and you wonder why the kids have all ADD, ADHD and have cancer and leukemia and all. It's because of, it's because of Wi-Fi. So 5G, 4G, 3G, I don't care what it is, all of those frequencies that go through your body are literally going to be messing with cell receptor sites and triggering something. So it, it makes me think of Karen... Mm -hmm. um, my son Harper loves like with her phase of loving the ocean and he was reading a book that was talking about the amount of big boats in the ocean is what messing with the frequency for whales and dolphins and mm -hmm. seals and it's actually killing them off and it's really hard for them to communicate so they're not finding their way when they migrate they're not finding the way to go because they call each other so the frequencies are off that was always present in the ocean all because there's like invaders or these big, huge cruise ships and boats and, and barges that now more than ever, they're just, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. So it makes me think of that. 
Yeah, excellent. excellent. And that's how it is in the body. And so that's the exact same thing. It's, and it's in physics, it's called, uh, you know, constructive or destructive interference, um, harmonic resonance. I mean, there's, you know, that's why you can, you know, you, the opera singer can come in and sing the same note as all the atoms that are in the crystal vase, and we can shatter the crystal vase or shatter a glass, right? Or have a bridge completely collapse over an ocean because literally harmonic resonance happened too much of the specific frequency went into the bridge that the bridge was made of and boom right it's that's all just physics well we can so we look at our body and that's the cool part is that if we understand electricity then yes it can be oh my gosh devastating we're all going to die of cancer but it's also going to be like wait a minute let's just use constructive interference let's just use harmonic resonance and blow the hell out of those parasites and bacteria and the cancer cells right I just swore on your live show. That's okay. I swear all the time. Okay. <laughs> and so, and so that interference, yes. I want to make sure I'm following you. That interference yes. has everything to do with the immune system because we're trying to, if we're not healthy or we are healthy, it's either disrupting us or it's what's causing the disruption. Yeah. That there's two ways to get sick molecules that you're eating and you don't have enough of. And we'll talk about that in a second. The second way is electricity. So people who are exposed to high amounts of EMFs and they don't do something about it, then they're going to get sick. And so you might go, my gosh, I, I eat like incredible. I do amazing. Well, honey, you live three miles away from the big towers in your city. Of course, you're going to get sick. It doesn't matter how much. I mean, it's great you're eating. Well. Or they're on this all, all the time. Day. Or those oh my gosh, you know, my clients come in and they've got that stupid Bluetooth wrapped around their throat and I pull up and I'm like, you have to, I'm looking at the scan going, okay, you have enough iodine, your iron's all screwed up, your thyroid's completely screwed up. And, you know, or the other guy, I had a guy come in, I just have this all the time, but they'll have heart issues, right? And they come in because they have heart issues and I do their scans and we look at their heart and I'm like, where's your cell phone? It's right over the heart. And I'm like, okay, guys, hello, let's just think twice. You know, the prostate people, stuff because guys carry their phone the in their pockets. Pocket. Constipation prostates and low sperm count all associated with having a cell phone in pocket now again i don't want to talk about emfs and all that depressing stuff because it's real and yes there are things you can do you can get the special fabric and line your pockets and so you can put your phone in your pocket and you won't radiate your penis okay great you know or your ovaries wonderful but then there are other things that you can do and that is eat spirulina eat chlorella like do some of the basic healthy things that you can just take swallow the tablets if you're freaked out because they're green um you know and then you know at least build the body's immune system so now we have electricity and then we have molecules molecules is my favorite of course because i like to eat i'm a chef so i like food <laughs> and you know so um molecules is when you eat things and then the the most important part of the immune system is the, the white blood cells, right? Because the white blood cells take the invader, they dissect it, and they try to figure out how in the world to kill it. <laughs> That's their job. How do we create an antibody so that when this pathogen comes in the body, we know right away what to pull together. So basically picture this, you eat something that has a, back, a E. coli on it, right? So you get this bacteria in the body and then the bacteria goes and gets, it gets sucked into the lymphatic system into a lymph node. And the lymph node is like the surgery place. Like, okay, what is this? What is this? Like, oh my gosh, right? And then all the white blood cells are trying to figure out how do we save it? How do we get rid of this? How do we get rid of this? How do we save our mom, right? And so, or our dad. And so then all of a sudden it pulls all these amino acids. Let me grab my little, uh-oh, where is there? This? Okay. Ta -da! This is a protein, right? Very simple. A protein is made from amino acids. H-O-P-E spells hope. If there's no H, it's O. Well, if I call Ope on the phone, she's not going to answer. She'll think I'm insane because you have to have an H. It is that simple, folks. This is how your body is built. Every single part of your body, every single, if you're looking at me, my hair, lovely and gray, my eyes, which have, you know, I need glasses. Okay, my, my body, my lips, everything, every part of my body is built from proteins, period. And so you need amino acids to build a protein. So if in your, if in your little surgery center in the lymph node, the white cells are trying to pull apart and figure out how to kill up this bacteria, but they need lysine and you don't eat lysine because it's green, or you don't eat glutamic acid, or you don't have any ethylene, or you don't have enough of an amino acid, well, then it can't get rid of the disease, period, because the building blocks of taking apart that disease requires amino acids. And so we have to just think, 
our molecules matter. So when we go to grab a snack, when we're at the truck stop or at, you know, at the gas station or at our house, number one, if it's not in the truck, you're not going to eat it. If it's not in the house, you are not going to eat it, right? So don't put it in the house. Like somebody actually, a visitor actually came to my house and they brought some horrid chemical laden chip. I was like, what is this? Yeah, this isn't allowed in my house because if it's in my house, someone's going to eat it, you know? I'm like, thank you very much. And uh, anyhow, I, I love him. He's wonderful. Anyhow, and so- wrapped an important nugget there that yeah. I want to make sure people catch. Okay. You are the one buying the food that you are going to eat. <laughs> yes. That I, I just, I, I, I think that that's such a great point. And so if for those that are listening, they're like, okay, Karen, I, I want to build my immune system because of what's all going on in the world right now, or because I travel, or I don't have always access to good foods, what can I eat or what should I stock up on so I have to build my immune system? Because it, it just is shocking to me. And this is not directed at anyone directly, but rather that like, why is the, like the immune system's like the last thing. I'm going to go do all this other stuff. And then I'm going to think about building my immune system. And when we get sick, we're so shocked then. And then all of a sudden we want to do all these things to try to fix it. But this should be an accumulation over time. And so one is what should we be eating? Two is like, why should we be like, what, what are the benefits of it? And three, like the, the accumulation over time. Like if I start today and I'm like, my gosh, I don't want cancer. Obviously you, you can't fix everything and you don't know what your future holds. Or I don't, I want to protect myself that if I'm around people with COVID and they don't know that they have COVID or whatever it is that I can stay healthy. And even if I do get it, I'm going to continue to let my body do what it's designed to do to fight it off and build an immunity. Well, 99.98% of the people watching this are not going to get uh, COVID and die. Here, just, just my gosh, my gosh, my golly, get over that. Okay, period. And so I, I, if I can, I can share my screen and then people can take a screenshot if they want of a couple of things. I should be able to. I just pulled up my I just pulled up my coronavirus um, immune system presentation, which I can give you a link if anybody really wants to hear more about this. They're welcome to um, they're welcome to watch my video. It's free and it's on the immune system and Corona. Uh, but anyhow, let's pop into here. These are symptoms. Most people don't realize what the symptoms are of a poor immune system: headache, nasal congestion, sore throat, coughing, shortness of breath, pain in muscles, chills, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. These are all. These are all symptoms of immune system that's not functioning properly. Because you think about it, the immune system wants to get rid of the pathogen. So it's going to vomit it out. It's going to, you're going to want to blow your nose. You're going to want to spit. You're going to want to sweat. You want to excrete it. Is that, is that why you sweat when you have like a fever or you're having yep. a flu, like you're sweating yep. all the time? Okay. Yep. And the fevers are my favorite. My favorite thing is a fever. I'm all about inducing fever and, and getting stuff out of the body. Okay. So this is going to talk a little bit. If you want, I will go ahead and um, share this from the start. You guys can take some... Um, screenshots here. Let me just pop through this. Um, uh, sorry, it takes a minute on myself. There we go. So this is how the immune system works. So again, you can pop and, and save your and save the screen, come back and just watch it again and read through it. Um, but this is basically talks about the immune system, what normally happens when the immune system is kicked into gear. And again, your immune system is working right now. All of you have an immune system. All of you are constantly trying to get rid of these things. White blood cells will do anything to keep you alive. The white blood cells literally self-destruct. They, they are cell suicide because they would rather have themselves, you know, they will devour, literally a macrophage will devour a virus or a bacteria before it lets it get to you. So there is extremely important. So we have natural immunity, adaptive and artificial immunity. This explains all of those. Natural immunity is what we're giving our children. That's what we're not giving our children when we eat crap when we're pregnant. You can't make a baby off of Little Caesars pizzas and and you know and, and Captain Crunch. Like then you have a baby and one woman tried to do that. But anyhow, then you have a baby who's going to have a really sucky immune system the rest of their life and they do. And so we need to be careful and aware of what we're actually eating while we're pregnant. That's a whole other topic. These are things that weaken the immune system. Not sleeping. And, and the most important thing, and I should add this to the slide, is you need to sleep between eight at night and four in the morning, five in the morning. I don't care what your hours are. Those are the times that you actually heal, which can be really hard if you have a third shift job. It just is what it is. There's nothing we can do to change it because that's circadian rhythm. So making sure we get as much sleep as we can during that eight to five, four in the morning. 
making sure that we stay out of stress. However, and I'm Hope is a master of that, so you're in the right place. She is absolutely amazing. Um, deficiency in trace minerals, making sure we have enough potassium and manganese and zinc. And the number one mineral though is zinc. So making sure that you have enough zinc. And right now, all of you should be taking a zinc product. Every single person needs to be on zinc right now throughout the world, because what does zinc do? Zinc stops a virus from replicating, period. That's what zinc does. So zinc does a lot for, for male fertility, by the way, too. So if you ever have low libido, man, get on the zinc, right? But it also stops viruses from replicating. So everyone on the planet, anybody I know is taking a zinc supplement because I, I make sure of it. But anyhow, what, um, what type of zinc should you be taking? Because there's different kinds. It like, is. is there something we should be looking for? Because I know there's liquid. You can get them in like the little chewable tablets. Like what should we be looking for? At the, Right now, whatever you can get, so much of it is sold out. My very, the company I use is called Mega Food, M-E-G-A-F-O-O-D, because it's 100% whole food zinc, period. Um, you can get zinc, you know, you, the biggest thing is you don't want to get zinc as a, as a rock, period. And that's what most of this crap that's sold in any store is, is it's just a rock. You'll see elderberry and zinc, you'll see, um, th and there's foods that are high in zinc. And I have an entire graph on that in my mineral chart. I have a mineral chart that I can pull up somewhere here and, and share with you the foods that are high in zinc as well. So though that's, and that's like I said, one of the number one things that sold out in America was zinc because any, anybody who knows viruses understands that that is what's going to keep it from dividing. Um, and that's why it's a big proponent when you hear the frontline doctors talking about how to get rid of COVID because they've never lost any of their clients to COVID. Zinc is one of the major factors there. Um, anyhow, so these are a couple things that we pop through this for you. Um, how to maintain a healthy immune system. This is it. Berries, berries, berries. If you're going to go and you're on the road, if you just are, I literally, I travel, right? And I've traveled with Hope. We travel a lot. She knows we all, we eat berries all of the time. There are always blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries. Or any kind. And they're low in sugar, which always. is great. Yeah, they're low in sugar and don't let that fool you either. But yeah, they're very low in sugar, but they're phenomenally high pH. Um, great brain berries. Uh, blueberries are the best brain food on the planet. Next, walnuts are great too, and salmon. But oh my gosh, berries are great. Um, high alkalizing foods. If you want your free a free graph, and it's quite beautiful. It's a whole ebook on pH. It's free. It's on our website, Holistic Health Educators, um, and we can send that to you if we get your email. I'll include that, that link so that they can yeah. take it. But you know, the, that, that's a great thing, and you can just print it, and then you've got a full explanation and a beautiful graph of what foods you should and should not eat to raise your pH. You cannot at all get sick if you have a high pH. It's impossible. Cancer cannot at all exist or grow or divide in a high pH. So when you bring the potential of hydrogen in your body high by eating all these wonderful, healthy, delicious foods, you can't even get sick. Like you cannot get sick. You can't get sick. And that is so important in this time when everybody's freaking out like they're gonna die of Corona. Keep yourself healthy, you don't eat sugar and you have a much higher chance of never getting sick. Vitamin C, if you're taking vitamin C, you should be taking it every two hours because vitamin C is water soluble and you pee it out or sweat it out. So never get into the habit of like taking all your vitamin C in the morning or all before you go to bed at night, useless, wasted your money. You're gonna pee a bunch of yellow out, you know, and it's not gonna be functional. So again, sleeping herbs, again, you can take a picture of this, oxygen, water, turmeric, probiotics are a must, some kind of, you know, good green powders. Again, these are, nothing's in a specific order, but these are very, very important. And then these are immune system um, boosting herbs. For, we actually created a product specifically for COVID. Uh, it's called V1V2, and it's home. It's called homeoprophylaxis. And that's that's exactly what vac vaccinations are based on. Is homeoprophylaxis? You've probably heard that word out there quite a bit these days because they're speaking about it. They're just not saying, "Oh, for sixty bucks, you can contact Karen and get your V1V2 kit." And so far to date, over the last four months, anybody in the country and out who's taken it has never gotten COVID. So there, it's, it's basically here is what the strain of COVID is going to look like in the body and it prepares the body so all the white blood cells can rush into the lymphatic system and figure out how to get rid of it before you even get it. So that's basically what homeoprophylaxis is. If you're interested, just contact me directly um, and we'll send that to you. Um, I want to talk about one on here and it's turmeric because I have two questions. Yeah. I love turmeric. I use powdered turmeric. I drink, um, I have a powdered uh, golden morning drink that I add that has turmeric in it, um, mm -hmm. but I also eat raw turmeric and put it in stuff. Is there a difference because many of my drivers are living over the road multiple days in a row. Is there a difference if I only use powdered turmeric, as long as it's come from a good source 
to mm -hmm. straight up the root of the root turmeric? Like, is there, is there a difference in those? All you need to think about is, and this kind of makes sense. If you take a cantaloupe and you cut, or an apple, that's easy. Take the apple and cut the apple. What's gonna happen when you cut the apple? It turns brown, right? If you let it sit on the counter, it's called oxidation. So oxidation happens when you cut anything. Within 15 minutes, you are gonna oxidize whatever's cut. So if you take an apple and you cut it into 15 pieces, you have a lot of oxidation. If you crush the apple, you have a phenomenal amount of oxidation. The whole thing goes brown very instantly. You have to think about that with, your, with food and, and in general. So the whole root of turmeric is going, always going to be preferable because it's a whole root. Understand you can't always get that. So companies like Megafood and like and, and whole food organic supplement companies, very few out there, there's only two or three, you know, period. They will take the whole root of turmeric and they, if you want it powdered, it's going to go through oxidation. However, they do it at the um, lowest temperature possible. So it reduces the amount of oxidative stress and free radical damage to the actual produce. So when you're, when you're going out to buy something, getting it in the biggest chunks possible instead of the tiniest chunks will be best because it's less oxidative stress. And what is the root of all disease? Oxidative stress, period. That's 100% free radical damage is the root of every disease on the planet. And so just that, so that's why, you know, peanut butter, you get dump the oil off the top because that's 100% oxidative stress. It's crap oil, never mix it in. Just think of how is my natural food being broken down and the least you can break it down, the better. So you don't get rolled oats, you get, you know, whole oat groats and you cook them just like you would rice and it tastes amazing, right? So there's there's just little tricks along the way. So to answer that, I'm super happy and, and I know you love turmeric because you love golden milks um, and, and yeah, I'm glad you're taking it in a powder form. Any way to get it is great because it's better than not having any of it. So yeah. if it was me, I would take the root. If you can't, and I, if you're talking to lots of truck drivers, so Dina is one of my dear friends and she's uh, a single by the way, man, and she's in her late sixties, early seventies and absolutely flipping gorgeous. But anyhow, uh, and so, but she takes a little um, blender. She has a blender, uh, a bu magic bullet in her truck and she makes everything in the truck. So she'll make golden milk and she you should see her truck. We should, you can take, you take pictures of it. I have, I have showed her truck before. So okay, she does, good. and there's many drivers out there that are doing, yeah. um, and I just know sometimes it's like, you can only travel with so much, exactly. you only have so much produce, Get the powder, so that powder right. good enough. Well, My other question is, and this is a great one because I'm running a challenge right now um, for drivers is we talked about mushrooms and at the bottom. And so many people were like, okay, mushrooms, are they a vegetable? Like, what are they? Why do we eat them? What's the good point of it? And at the bottom of the previous slide, like you have right there, why yeah. eat mushrooms? That's right. Mushrooms strengthen the immune system because they are rich in protein, fiber, vitamin C, B vitamins, calcium, and minerals. Like they kind of, are they like their own category? I they mean, where are. do they go? They are their own categories. It's called fungi. And so now I'm huge in the medicinal mushrooms. And so the, I have some, you know, some portobellas downstairs. I'm going to make into some yummy treat later. However, like I use every day, I get the powder of organic reishi, shaga, lion's mane, and astragalus. Every day I have that because reishi is the mushroom of immunity. That's what it's called. And you can get organic reishi powder. Um, you can order it. There's a company in Vegas that had, that I always like uh, using because they're, they have always gotten very fresh um, product. It's called uh, Herbally Grounded. So if you're in Vegas, you can stop by Herbally Grounded. You can order it online, have it shipped anywhere, but just look for a really good reishi or on Amazon if you're an Amazon junkie. Um, organic reishi, shaga. Uh, lion's mane is one I add because lion's mane is incredible for the memory. And I have to like talk like this all the time. So my memory has to be quick, right? I got to keep up with hope. And so I have to take my lion's mane. Otherwise, I won't be her friend anymore. Because she'll be like, you're so boring. Anyhow, so um, that's what we do. Um, I'll just throw a couple more slides up here, hope so they can take pictures if they want. Um, again, licorice is great. And people don't think about this. Why is licorice good? Because it, 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 because it buffers inflammatory response by increasing steroid output. I mean, it's just like amazing, you know, that, that the adrenal glands are so involved in the immune system and people just don't realize that. Anyhow, so a lot of fun things on here. Take, take pictures, take pictures. Um, oopsie, where am I? There we go. Um, this is a miracle syrup that I... We just make, we've made, I made for years, haven't made it in 
oh, well, quite a while because absolutely nobody gets sick in my family. I know that sounds absolutely terrible, but we just don't get sick. But if we do, this is the first thing we make. So it's a fun recipe. You can keep it in your fridge and your cooler. And speaking of freezers, I don't know how you how, how everybody functions, but I do not have time to, I don't, and I don't like wasting anything. So I get turmeric. Um, organic turmeric and ginger and I wash it. I don't peel it. Who's that's too boring. I wash it really well and I cut it in pieces and throw it in my freezer. And so I just keep everything in the freezer and throw it in my smoothie so that that helps. Okay. And uh, that was it. I'm going to add, I'm going to go ahead and exit this because that just awesome. talks about. Demons. So I want, I want to kind of maybe wrap this up with if, if there are people out here today that are listening and are like, okay, that that's a lot of information. That's awesome. If, if you could tell somebody anything and it would be like, Karen, what is one thing, maybe two, mm -hmm. that I should start doing today to continue to keep my immune system healthy, what would it be? Zinc, for, especially right now because of the virus. And I would get a medicinal mushroom blend like my immunity blend or um, from, there's a company called uh, Paul Stemmets. So the Stemets mushrooms, they make a spray and that spray is called immunity. And you can literally just spray it in your mouth two, three, four times a day. And then I would also invest in oil of oregano and oil of oregano. I would get the tincture bottle of oil of oregano. You can get it in alcohol base or a glycerin. Um, alcohol is always going to be better because it goes right into the bloodstream and you can take drops of oil of oregano, you know, four or eight drops a day. Um, but that, those are the three things that I, if you were, if you're my mom or my sister or my friend asking me, of course, I'm not a medical doctor. So this is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, anyhow, so there we go. I'm just Karen who's worked with thousands of very conversation people. that happens to be live. No big deal. You all know the gist. And most importantly, no matter what, do your own research too. Oh yes. Anything you heard today, that is the beauty of Google. Google is our best friend and our worst enemy. It's all how you use it. <laughs> So if you're like, okay, zinc, go down the rabbit hole of zinc today, go down the rabbit hole of mushrooms and start researching because knowledge is power. And when you use that knowledge that you've learned, you get new wrinkles in your brain, your, your, your brain is expanded. You can go out and share it with somebody else. But, but the long story short, I think one of the things I appreciate about you coming on here today, Karen, is that you have options. You have options to yep. better your health today. I don't want you to feel like you have to do all of this. If you're like, whoa, that was like so much science, go back and listen to it again. If you caught like a word or some phrase that she said, go and research that. Become the master of your own body and your own life because you are the one living in it. And that I feel like is our responsibility as people, no matter if you're focusing on weight loss or building immunity or trying to improve your diet or trying to get rid of some weird rash that you have, whatever it is, you, you are responsible for your body. Take that knowledge in. Don't be so pushed back because someone's saying something that maybe you don't understand or don't want to hear. Or it's new to you. Like we all have the opportunity to change in life. We all have the opportunity to grow and evolve and our health at a certain level is our responsibility. And there are things that you can do today to better that and use your brain, be smart and be kind. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And you can do that by taking an investment into your health and trying to do everything that you can to live the best quality life that you can. Because I always say replacement parts are never as good as the originals and you only get one life, so you better make it right. And that is definitely something we have the opportunity for today. I want to give a good quick shout out here to one of our sponsors, Davy Crack at TA Petro. Thank you so much for everything that you do here for Chrome and Steel Radio. Without you guys, we would not be here. This would not be possible. If you have not been to Greenville, Tennessee, stop by the Davy Crockett there. They do so many things. They've had food trucks out there for drivers because you can't come inside. They always have new little trinkets and goodies and gizmos. And most importantly, they sell our Stiff Mother Trucker Pain Relief Cream. So please check that out and support us and support Chrome and Steel and support Mother Trucker Yoga. Your body matters, your health matters, your life matters, and now it's up to you to go do something about what matters to you. Karen, any final words? Where can we find you? Yeah, um, holistic health educators. 
Bodyfitnessfitness.com. We've got great programs. If any of you want to learn more about the amazing body, it is so fun to learn. And so go ahead and you can enroll in any of our programs. You'll love them. You'll, the Empowered program is like seven hours of great information. You will not My want to stop listening. It's, it, there's, nothing's boring that we ever do. Uh, and the Human Body Master Guide helps throughout that. And that is you can enter any ailment and you're getting your information from over 25 to 50 different doctors that I work with telling you for free how to get rid of your ailment. Like, it's just amazing. So just stop over and visit us on our, on our website and let us know how we can help you. Awesome. Karen, thanks so much. Most Thank importantly, you. everyone out there, remember every little bit counts, every movement counts. It's about the small, simple changes that help you feel better wherever you are. Goodbye, my friends. Bye. There's always.